Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another edition of Mimosas and Makeup. I decided to go with Cupcake Chardonnay today. I decided to go with Cupcake Chardonnay today, so that's where I'm at. It's actually really good. Y'all, okay, before we even get into this, this is not my official Frizz video because... Well, I'll get into it, but we, we still got some more locks in here, but they're almost out, y'all. Anyway, I want to interrupt our regularly scheduled Natasha Denona uh, Yucca palette, because that's all I see now. I, I was going to film that for today or finish that video for today, and I was like, we may be tired, so I may bring that back around uh, this upcoming week. I want to do a blush haul. There are some blushes that I just got and haven't tried and there's some blushes that i've tried lately i just want to talk about blush today so i hope that sounds good and if it does keep on watching this video let me know what you think and if makeup is your therapy and your love if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way definitely consider joining the community you know i'd love to have you back all right let's get started So what I was trying to say was yesterday I thought I had 12 locks, but I lied to myself. And when I woke up today, cause I thought I was down to 10, I woke up today and it was 14. So I don't know. So I have a, a little rubber band. See that? Look at y'all. <laughs> I'm just being honest, but you can't see it from right here. And then I have a little rubber band of these right here. But yeah, I'll do a whole video like combing out my last one. I think that's what I want to do. And then we're going to figure it out from there. But from right here, I'm like, oh, this is me. This is me. Let me tell you what else I did. Let me tell you. I was reading the Magic Art of Tidying Up. I think that's the name of the book or listening to it on Audible by Marie Kondo. And she was talking about how, you know, people often downgrade their clothing to loungewear. And she was talking about, like, if you do that, eventually you're going to look like you belong in those clothes. <laughs> Secretly, she played me. So I have on this little loungewear set that I bought from Old Navy. So let me see if I can show you. It's like a whole one piece situation. Hold on. Cute. And it's cute, y'all. Yes. Okay. I'm not at like my ideal weight situation, but as I strive to get there, why not look cute in the process? That's how I feel. So we're going to talk about blushes today and I'm really excited. I really am excited to uh, work with and finish my Natasha Denona video. But every time I get on YouTube, that's all I see in the timeline. And I'm like, I'm not even trying to watch those reviews yet because I'm, I'm still working with the palette. So just trying to give y'all something a little bit different. All right, that's a pretty palette though. So we're gonna talk about blushes. I'm gonna try to do some comparisons and I just wanna share how some of these new blushes or how I think they're gonna stand up to some of my tried and trues that I've been using lately in 2023. So let's do that. Let me tell you what I have on my face because as I take the makeup off, I'm gonna be putting the same thing back on. For foundation, I'm wearing the number one De Chanel Skin Tint. Haven't worn that in a while, but I chose that because lately I have just been wearing a concealer. So I didn't want to put like a heavy foundation on because that's just hasn't been my norm lately. For my concealer, I'm wearing my Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, which I ordered a new one because this one is just about done. So I'm proud and I didn't even put powder on. If I did, it was going to be Rare Beauty. I also have on just a kind of a neutrally lipstick. Uh, this is Dior Lita, and this is the Dior Addict uh, Lip Shine in my denim case. That's all I have on. So let's get started. There have been so many blush releases, so we're gonna demo them all. And then I'm gonna talk about some of my oldies, but goodies, and some of them aren't even that old, but see if any of these new ones have potential to knock my favorites down in the rankings. Let's first talk about these iconic London Kiss by the Sun multi-use cheek glow uh, blushes. Now, I wish I had filmed these because, I mean, as soon as you swatch them, the embossings completely wore off. I believe these came in five shades, but Sephora had three, and I got these during the sale. First, we have So Cheeky. We have Oh Honey, 
And lastly, we have Playtime. When you swatch these, I mean, they're very, very creamy. And these are supposed to be almost like bronzers. They're sculpting blushes. So let's go ahead and try these. Now, I will tell you, I have been wearing these pretty much every single day. So even though they're new in this video, mm, these have grown to be a favorite or favorites. Let's start with Playtime. And Playtime, I think, is like more of a cool toned uh, pink. I'm gonna be switching up the brushes throughout the video. And right now I'm actually using a bronzing brush from BK Beauty. It's the A507 brush. So let's see. Let me turn this down just one. So I want it to look realistic. But you can see already, even though this is a cool toned uh, pink, I feel like there is warmth to it. Now, you know, I feel like there's a lot of wordplay <laughs> with some of these products coming out lately because I don't know. I mean, there is a warm highlight in here that is kind of like a maybe like a neutral champagne. I'm thinking Natasha Denona, I need a nude highlighter. But the whole sculpting part of that, I just feel like the sculpting is based on where you place the blush not the blush it, itself but that's playtime and i really like this this also it doesn't remind me of orgasm from nars exactly but just how the nars orgasm has that pinky gold that's what i'm seeing here and i really like this a lot so let me just show you from afar that's what it looks like and i just think the way you apply it it does give you kind of a sculpt a sculpted look but I think it's more placement than anything next we have the shade so cheeky and so cheeky is a, just a really beautiful uh, peach peachy gold type shade so we're gonna put that on the other cheek and then I'll do oh honey I'm just using the same brush so cheeky is one that I use often like if I do my base first, which is usually the case, and I don't know what kind of eye look or what kind of lip I'm gonna wear, or if I'm not even doing an eye look, but I'm just uh, putting on a lipstick. This is something that I think goes with every look. It just looks really nice. It doesn't really matter uh, what the makeup is going to be. So that's so cheeky. And this is playtime. I honestly haven't heard too much about these iconic London uh, cheek glows but I really, really enjoy using them. As I said, I usually just rotate uh, between the three shades that I have. So I'm getting used to my, my hair like this. Uh, let me take this off. Let me know what you think about these. If I had to compare them, I would say it gives a finish like the RMS blushes, which I have sitting here, but the, formulation is completely different because rms is a powder and these are like creams and they're like putty like for example you can see like i just press my uh, finger in here so it's very very uh, putty like which is a completely different formula i'll also put the pricing information on like an overlay because i just i have such a variety out here i can't remember how much these were but i know i did get them on the sale all right i'll be right back and we'll try oh honey and then we'll try something else from another brand all right so next we have oh honey so oh honey is like a, a warm golden bronze so let's apply that to this cheek and then we're gonna switch brands. Now this one, I do really feel like, you know, you can use it as a bronzer. Um, so I try to go light with this. You can really see this on my skin tone. I'll preface it with that. I can't remember what the other shades were, if there was anything deeper, but already you can kind of see that bronze glow there. And for me, it's subtle, but it's enough. Like I don't do any type of contouring usually. So this is perfect for me. And I do feel like this definitely gives you a kiss by the sun look. I'm just putting a little more on than I usually would. And I think these also would be great blush toppers. You know, if you don't wanna use them by themselves, you could just put this over 
a matte blush to kind of enhance uh, the, the blush that you're wearing. So that's Oh Honey. Let me show it to you from afar. So you kind of see that bronzing effect right there. So I really like this one as well. Let me know uh, what you think about this one. Again, these blushes, I don't have anything that's this type of texture. So I, I really don't have any comparisons. Uh, some of my favorite blushes that I'm wearing right now are like the RMS blushes, but these, you can definitely like press these in, but this blush is definitely a powder, but I do feel like it gives a very similar effect. It's a shimmer without glitter. So I really love these iconic London uh, blushes. I love them. Like I think, I just think they look really great. So I'm, I'm happy, really happy uh, with uh, th this purchase. So, all right, let's move on. Now only purchase one of these. This is the NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush. And this just got the better of me. And I, I had like three shades I wanted, but I wanted to choose the one that was gonna be the most unique to my collection. And it was the shade Wanderlust because it's like this purple here. I definitely do not have a lot of blushes uh, in this shade. And I, I don't think I have any blushes in this shade. And I don't have a lot of liquid blushes. I will show you in a second the ones that I do have, but this is what it looks like. It has a really big doe foot. I have not tried this out yet, and that's what it's gonna look like. So this looks like something that you're gonna have to build up if you want it to be more pigmented, but I kind of like the idea of it being sheer because I know there are some blushes that I have that if you don't have foundation on, the blush makes you kind of look silly and clownish, but some of these um, more sheer ones, I can just put on a bare face or a face with just my sunscreen and primer. How much Um, so how many are you thinking about having? Few. How much is that? A few is three. Is that what you are gonna have? How many? Come show me, come show me after you. Yeah, a little bit, come show me, because that's subjective. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. Again, I'm trying this one out for the first time. I'm just gonna put it on my hand and then maybe use a sponge. Let's do that. So I have some on the back of my hand and I just was really curious about this shade just because it was really uh, unique. Unique. Ooh, okay. So actually tapping this with the finger Oh. Okay, you can put them in the bag. Okay, so I was gonna use a sponge, but you don't really need to. I like this shade. Ooh. Mm. Okay, so it's not even super like purpley, but let's just see like if we want it to do that. Let's see if we can make that happen. I'm into the sheer wash of color though. This is something I think you're definitely gonna have to be gentle with, like if you're wearing regular foundation. Uh, I don't know if it moves it, but I could see that happening if you're being like too rough. But it definitely looks like it, like kinda like the dots blur and blend well together really nicely with a finger. The reason why I'm mentioning that is because I did bring out the other liquid blush that I have, which is by Rare Beauty. This one is very pigmented. If you don't blend it well, like if you just put dots on, like it's not sheer at all. So like you have to make sure that you blend it well, like really well. So yeah, see, totally different finish with the Rare Beauty, really pigmented. So if you want a really pigmented blush, this is not going to be it, but I like this and this is perfect. This is perfect for me, especially for summertime, like where I'm doing more sheer uh, situations. So let me know what you think about Wanderlust and Oh Honey, I love them both. I'm going to uh, wash my face. I'm gonna use a makeup wipe and take this off and then we'll get into, ooh, what do we wanna get into next? Let's get ah. into, that's a lot of Skittles. Let me, let me ask the audience, come here. No, she said, let's try again. That's way too many. I feel like you have at least 30 Skittles in there. Let me see. 
Mm. Mm. I feel like this is a hefty amount. This is a bit. Mm, I kind of think that I'm concerned about your mm. health. That's the minus two. Don't you think so? Yep. So what are you gonna do? Because so that's just a lot. You don't know want I have to put it in there. Back. Yeah, I would just put some back because I mean that's like cavities. That's like. I mean, did you put any back? You still have like twenty five skittles here. Come on, I was thinking. Let's go. I was thinking fifteen. Go back. Go back. I you know. The way. I I was thinking maybe fifteen at best. That is such a nice match. When he waited, he waited exactly till eight o'clock because I told him eight o'clock for dessert. I just feel like candy for dessert is not satisfying, but who am I? I don't know how it feels to Marky, but mm -hmm. for me, I don't know. I have these mini uh, crab cakes from Wegmans. I cannot wait. I'm gonna have those for dinner, not for dessert, for dinner and dessert. I think uh, Tyrone just called Marky trying to sneak some Skittles and just show me like a lesser amount in the bag. Here he comes. <laughs> that was too good. What happened? So, so I took it. Who took it? Tyrone. Why did he take it? Because he gave it. I didn't put it in So here's the thing. We want you to be healthy. Okay. Punching people? Oh, that's unacceptable. What's That's a lie. Alright, y'all. So going with kind of these glow sculpting blushes, I have two from Say Beauty. I think this is the first time I'm trying Say Beauty. I think so. I've been wanting to. So I have two shades. I have Mauve Glow and Quartz Glow. And I picked these because Mauve Glow, they talked about using more like a blush, like on the apples of the cheeks and the eyes. And then Quartz Glow is more of like a, a full face highlighter. So let me show you these up close. So here's Mauve Glow. Ooh. Okay, now this kind of has Kind of a similar uh, feel to the iconic London. I know I didn't swatch those. So, oh, that's pretty. That is very pretty. Okay, here's the Quartz Glow. Oh my gosh. I love this texture. Oh yeah, ooh, okay. So right away, this is what I'm thinking, hold on. Now, not the same texture at all, but two of my favorite highlighting products are these Bomb Essentials by Chanel. And I have sculpting, ugh. Oh, so let's see, sculpting, love this. So again, this is a bomb. So it's a little bit different. Oh, I love this stuff, y'all. I cannot like have too much do. So these are not the same, but they're gonna give the same effect. And then I have, which one is this? This is Rouge Frey, Rouge, F-R-A-I-S. I'm, you know, I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm not trying to sound a mess, I just wanna show you. So that's this one. So let's see, here's mauve glow up here. Okay, this one's a little more vibrant. Let's start with the quartz glow. Um, I have this brush from Real Techniques and let's just see how we do with a brush cause I'm not, um, this might be a finger situation, let's see. Now see, this one's not gonna be doing too much. Like if you don't, want you know too much like something really natural that's what you're gonna get yes can I ask a quick question yeah august has to ask a quick question oh can i watch popcorn tie your popcorn for the movie too yeah so what is it that you're asking me you want two desserts is that no, what i'm no. saying dessert train? No, I'm just asking that's nice if i eat Cool man's popcorn mm -hmm, right now. Mm -hmm. Could I get some of that for the movie? Sure, you're watching the movie tonight? Yeah. That's nice. Watch? I might, but y'all fell asleep within five minutes yesterday. Because you- I watched the movie alone. You accidentally mm -mm. read, you, you I accidentally, accidentally did not. started it. 
I restarted it because why, why would I watch a movie with you that I've never seen? You're sitting on it with your butt. Huh? You're sitting on it. Okay. The remote. These are refillable, by the way. That didn't make any sense. Ooh, okay, so yeah. So this one's more like a blush. So I, I feel like um, this is gonna have, let's see, I'm gonna see what I have over here in my pile. But I just love this. And I don't feel like this would be something that would emphasize texture if you have it. Like, oh, these are just really nice, really nice. Let's do this on the eye too. That is really pretty. Oh, let me know what you think. Maybe similar to Playtime from the Iconic. Let's see. Again, different formula, but because these are, yeah, they're similar because they're both uh, cool tone pinks. But this one has a lot of more gold in it. This one doesn't. But I like these. Okay. See, all of these are having potential, okay, in my collection. Now, other kind of shimmery blushes that I have, a whole different uh, vibe here as far as uh, application. I've got from Char, the Beauty Light Wand. I have a Pink Gasm and Peach Gasm. So, you know, we also have those. I mean, all in all, I think all of these so far are gonna give you that same uh, blush toppery effect. That's Peach Gasm there. I think it just matters like, what formula do you like? This looks really good. I also have the Natasha Denona, I need a nude highlighter. And I picked that one because that's one of my favorites. Now this Natasha Denona is a powder formula, but again, it's a, you know, a, a champagne, same kind of colors. I mean, there's only but so many colors, you, you know, you can have, but I think it just, it depends on like, how does your skin work with the formula? But I like to say a lot, like this, I will wear this every single day. Going back to the NARS, I, I really can't think of any that I have that compares uh, because it's so sheer. I have pulled out my Afterglow palette because there is this kind of purpley shade here, but this is a whole different shade than the Wanderlust that I tried on and the pigment is more buildable. It's not sheer at all. So I just wanted to share that. I love this palette. It is discontinued, unfortunately. And I'm gonna continue to mention some blush favorites. The last blushes we have to try on are the Dior Rosy Glow blushes, which I'm so excited. I've been sitting on these. So I'm gonna take this off and we are gonna try them on. I have three. All right, you guys, back and so excited. So this is Berry. And oh my gosh, this is number 006. I really wanted to see all the hype about these blushes. So I caved. And when I thought about this one, I think there is a shade in the NARS Afterglow palette that looks similar. I'm not gonna really do a whole bunch of swatches, but it's the same one that I compared to the purple one. It is the shade Flirt, yes. So they do really look similar actually but I'm not mad and then I also thought about one of my most unique ones which is Vivid Azalea from Wayne Goss but you can see Vivid Azalea is so so vibrant this is a little more calm got to be very careful with this one so let's go ahead and try on Barry I'm just taking a brush from BH Cosmetics I'm not sure what it's called now already See, this is the issue that I run into with Vivid Azalea. Vivid Azalea already, I would have looked like a clown. I like the buildability of this. That's really nice. I was not expecting that. I have seen a couple reviews, but I haven't really paid too much attention. I, I was not expecting that. And it doesn't look like it's a glowy blush, but my skin definitely has a glow. This is really nice. Now I know Dior has reformulated. I have heard some mixed reviews about the eyeshadow, but I haven't really heard too, too much about the blush. So let me know what you think about this and I'm gonna build it up a little more, but I mean, it really does take some building, which could be a good or bad thing depending on your skin tone. For me, because I'm more of like a light medium, 
and I'm, I've definitely put on way more and brought the blush down way lower just so you can see it. I like that you have to build it up because I have gone in too heavy and then you can't, you can't fix it. You have to just take it off. So this is Barry. I think that is really nice. Really nice looking. All right, next I have bought the shade Cherry, which is 015. All right, and here is what it looks like. It's red, but it's bright. It almost has like a coral feel to it. So I'm excited. Now, blushes that I have in this color, I mean, if we're looking here at the Afterglow, I have Exhibit A here, which is a, a matte red. But I had brought out at night from Hourglass, which I know is not gonna be a match, but it's one of my favorite red blushes. So I, I know it's totally different, but when I think about red blush, I always think about at night. Let's go ahead and try on Cherry and see what we think. Yeah, I'm really love. See, I'm really loving that you have to build these up. That just really makes me happy. I also have, ooh, okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. I have another blush, hold on, that I wanted to bring out. Oh, I like Cherry a lot. Now, both of these are too much, you know, but when I first put it on, I think a little bit is going to go a long way for me and these are going to last forever in my collection. Let me grab my house lab blushes. So when I thought about the Cherry, it made me think about Watermelon Bliss. So yeah, really close. And this is another one I was really surprised. Like you really, really have to build the house lab blushes up and they're so nice. I also have Dragon Fruit Days. Yeah, this is more of like a, almost like a bubble gum. This is deeper. I don't have the acai one. I also have, oh, Hibiscus Haze. Hibiscus Haze is still lighter. And I have Pomelo Peach, where is that one? It doesn't matter because the Pomelo Peach is not gonna compare to any of these. So we're gonna finish this up by trying on Mahogany. I'm gonna wipe this off and we'll finish up with that. And I'll just talk about a few more of my favorite blushes that I didn't really feel like compare. Ooh, you know what, I forgot to share this. Um, this other Dior blush, Galactic Red. Galactic Red, this is from the Holiday Collection. This is gonna be just a lot deeper than this cherry shade, so I don't think that they compare. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so last but not least, we have Mahogany. This is number 020. I chose this because I don't think I have anything this color uh, in my collection. Um, I always pull out that NARS palette, so let me just see. Because I do have the shade Savage, but no, this is deep. I, I don't have anything like this, so let's see how this looks. I am taking this blush brush from Baddington, and let's just see what this looks like. Now, I watched Babs Beauty do hers, and I think she was trying to make it look kind of like a bronzer, but um, it, was, it was really deep on her, so let's just see. Oh yeah, that is deep. So, I don't know. This one, light hand for me because this is already giving me kind of like contour vibes. I like this, I just can't use a lot and that's why I picked this brush because it's really, really fluffy. I might be able to even go fluffier with this one, but I like this. This is giving me like, what color is this? I mean, it is really a mahogany, like it's a brown. I feel like it's giving off a little bit of a plummy uh, look. I don't know, but I like this. Hmm, okay. Now something like this, I would, for me, the blush would be the standout in the look. Like, I don't know if I would have like deep eyes or lips, like, cause this is, this is really deep. Let me zoom in. So that's what it looks like. Again, I like how these look matte, but they do have a they do have glow to them, but I don't know if they're glowy like the original ones, like the original pink and the original um, peach one. So I'm gonna leave this here because otherwise I feel like I'm gonna look real wild. So that's mahogany. Mm. I like all three of the shades. I think they look really nice. So, and as far as all of these blushes, I mean, some of them I haven't worn all day. 
well, most of them, I mean, the iconic ones I wear all the time, but I do, you know, need to wear the Dior ones more, the NARS one. But as far as I'm concerned, I think they're going to, and the same ones, I just, I think the performance is going to be nice. I, I feel like overall my makeup fades throughout the day. Even if I use setting spray, I use good primers. I'm just really active, but as long as it's a graceful fade, that's pretty much all I can ask for. So I'm happy with that. I do want to just share some of my favorite blushes and what I think about them compared to uh, the ones that I tried on today. Now, some of them I did mention already, but I just got to give them a little shout out. So again, RMS blushes. These are just some of my favorites. I have three shades. I have Maiden's Blush, which is another one that kind of goes with everything. This also reminds me a bit of Raw Honey, and I'll talk about the Melt Blushes uh, in a second. But yeah, Maiden's Blush and Raw Honey. Oh my God, Raw Honey. This side right here and Maiden's Blush. These are blushes I will wear when it's like, I don't know what else I'm doing with my face but let me just go ahead and put that on. I also have Mai Tai and Sangria. This one is Sangria, and then this one is Mai Tai. I really, really love these. Let me know if you have any of the RMS Beauty blushes. They're great, they are really great. And since I was mentioning Melt, I still really love these uh, Digital Dust Duo blushes. I have Raw Honey, I have Queen Bee, I have Buzzkill got all three of them and so this one reminds me kind of of the oh honey a bronzy shade from the iconic london so i would use it the same way these are a powdery formula so it's different but they're just so good they are so good they're still up there in my collection as well as the melt cream blushes i think these are still really great uh this one is sandy cheeks so that's kind of like your peachy color and I also have Cali Dream. I have a bunch of these though, and I really still love these and put them up there. So I don't think they're moving down in the ranks. Talked about my NARS Afterglow palette. This is just a tried and true palette for me. And I just love how I can use the shades separately or make a custom shade. So this is just one that's always a go-to. So I don't think any of these new blushes are gonna uh, knock that down at all. Vivid Azalea by Wayne Goss. This is just a one of a kind blush shade uh, for me with the highlight, you can put the highlight on top. This one's really nice. So this is just really unique in my collection. So I don't feel like anything that's uh, here will take its place. Ooh, a couple products from Chanel. So I can't find my Chains blush and I lost my Chains blush before and had to repurchase it. So I know it's not completely lost and maybe it's in a bin. Maybe I uh, put it somewhere because I need to mention it for something. I don't know. But this one is the blush Comet. This is like probably my favorite coral blush. I don't think anything I tried today was this shade. Uh, this coral shade this is the one that had the star and like the reflection i thought it was, was cool so i really like that i think no popcorn kind of gives me uh some of the cherry vibe from the dior blush these do look really similar so there's that all right i did mention house labs i love these i love the house labs blushes i don't know where pomelo peach is but like hibiscus haze is one i wear all the time um, again, the watermelon bliss, this can be built up just like the Dior. So and it is similar to the cherry. I don't know. I'm just going to have several cherry blushes that I like. This one is dragon fruit days. Love this one too. If you're looking for like that Barbie doll, a bubblegum pink look. Love that. My Charlotte Tilbury beauty wands. You know, I did want to see what the hype was and I think these are great. You know, I think they're great blush toppers, blush lights, and I do think that they give a very similar effect to the ones from Say and the Chanel Balm Essentials. So I'm gonna continue to use all of these. I know some people don't like the balms as much. I think that with the balms, one of the things you have to do is let them warm up on your finger so that it's melting a little bit because if you try to put this on your face or something it will probably ruin what's underneath 
I think the bombs are a lot more transparent than like the say blushes but I love them like I think and I think they really look nice on bare skin my rare beauty blush I only have one of these but I really love this shade this is the shade believe super pigmented you only need a little bit but um, you just have to be careful how you blend that out so I don't see anything knocking that down but out of all of these I probably use the rare beauty one the least and one of my favorite highlighters is the Natasha Denona I Need a New Glow Highlighter, which I think is right on par with the Chanel Balm Essential and the Say Quartz Glow that I just bought. So hmm, all of these, I think I, I mentioned them all. Oh, Hourglass at Night. Yeah, one of my favorites because they have that ambient technology that gives you that uh, glow from within. And I just think this is a beautiful, really beautiful and unique blush. It is one of my favorites. Desert Orchid from Pat McGrath. I didn't really have anything that compared to this, but this is another one I'll just throw on if I don't know what I am doing to my eyes or lips. And this goes pretty well with everything. I don't really have anything in this uh, lineup of new blushes that compares uh, to Desert Orchid. If I had Paradise Glow, if I didn't break that one, I would be talking about that one as well that's one of my favorites um the dior galactic red this one was cool wasn't anything to write home about but i just wanted to share it because you know i had some dior blushes and i wanted to see how it compared but that wouldn't be one of my favorites so we're not including that and i think that's it i really like this one though the nars I, I love the finish of it and i love the sheerness of it especially because that's kind of what I've been doing lately like things have been kind of minimal so I really really like this one and I started to get the orgasm on but I'm like I already have orgasm blush like let me get a shade that's unique and this one definitely is so that's really going to be it for this video I would love to know what blushes you are into right now like what are you going for what are you reaching for are any of these blushes uh new or old on your wish list are any of them your favorites i really gotta find my chanel chains blush though because i can't be losing a blush of that uh price let me know uh, what you think about the blushes i tried on or even some of the older ones in my collection and that is going to be it for today's video thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another mimosas and makeup i hope this was therapy for you it always is for me and until i see you again make sure you are being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and i will see y'all in the next one bye hopefully completely frizz free bye <laughs>